Hey everybody, it's Johnny Mac with the Sauce and Gravy channel and in this recipe I will show you how to make a marinara sauce using a few simple ingredients. This marinara sauce is easy to make and tastes a million times better than any store bought marinara sauce. Making this homemade tomato sauce yourself gives you the ability to make it to taste. Buckle up, let's go! Okay everybody, so let's begin. Go ahead and grab one red onion. Go ahead, we're going to dice this guy up, so go ahead and cut him in half. Now typically for a marinara sauce, you're going to want to use the red onion. However, it's okay if you don't have a red onion, it's not readily available, you can go ahead and use a regular old white onion, not a problem. The reason why it's preferable to use a red onion is because it brings a little bit more of a sweeter flavor than a white onion. Okay, so let's get into the chopping here. So we're going to start off with a few vertical cuts down the onion. And then now we're going to make one horizontal cut. This will make sure that our onions chopped up nice and finely. Next we're going to grab some garlic, go ahead and give it a pounding. Chop off the end, peel off the skin. We're going to do that for three cloves of garlic. Okay, after we've peeled all of these garlic cloves and they're ready to go, we're just going to go ahead and give them a nice slicing. So we're going to slice them up. We don't have to mince them. It's okay, we're gonna saute them, and then later on we're gonna more or less melt them down for an hour long cooking, and then we're gonna puree them a little bit. So, a nice slicing's fine. Okay everybody, now it's time to grab a saucepan, put it over medium heat. We're gonna grab a little olive oil, two tablespoons of olive oil. Go ahead and throw it on in. Next up to bat, we have the garlic. Go ahead and throw it on in. We're just gonna saute these guys for roughly a minute. Don't wanna brown them, if you brown them, It'll turn it bitter, so make sure you keep your eye on it. Now it's time to grab the red onions, throw them in the saucepan. Give these guys a little bit of a stir. We are still cooking these guys over medium heat. So we're going to gently cook these guys for five minutes. Make sure that you keep stirring them a little bit here and there. Uh, we want them to be translucent, however, you can take it a little bit further. If you want to go ahead and caramelize the onions to add a little bit more of a different flavor, you can. However, for this recipe, we're just going to take them to the translucent state. Okay, so it's been roughly five minutes. Our onions are nice and translucent. This is right where we want to be, so we're ready to move on with the next step of the sauce. Now it's time to add some tomatoes. For this recipe, I'm using canned, stewed, peeled tomatoes. It's quick and easy, does the job. And I'm using three and a half cups of the stewed tomatoes. Now you can use fresh tomatoes if you'd like. You have to peel them, uh, you have to seed them. But you can use fresh tomatoes if that's what you like. Stir the sauce up really well, make sure it's nice and combined. And then it's time to add a little water. I'm putting in a half a cup of water. If you like your sauce a little bit more runny, you can put a little bit more water in. You can always adjust at the end if you'd like. Mix everything up really well. Now it's time to add a little bit of flavor. We're going to add two sprigs of basil. So the full stem, leaves and everything. So two sprigs of basil. Make sure that you wash it before you throw it in. You can chop it up a little bit just to make sure that it fits into the saucepan. Give it a little bit of a stir to try to incorporate it in, but once it starts to get a little bit warmer, it'll start to melt into the sauce. Now we're going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of some nice red pepper flakes to give it a little bit of a kick. And to neutralize the acid, we're going to put in one teaspoon of sugar, some white granulated sugar. Mix everything up really well. We're going to go ahead and start this on a medium-high heat. We want to bring this to a little bit of a simmer. Once it does start to come to a little bit of a boil, go ahead and turn down the heat to low and we're going to simmer this on low for one hour. Now it's a good idea to periodically come in and check on the sauce. You're going to want to watch for the liquid level. Might need a little bit more liquid on occasion. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you don't burn it for sure. Uh, but it's a good idea to keep your eye on it. It's also a good idea to possibly put a lid on it that'll help keep the liquids in. But we're going for a low, slow simmer. We want all of those wonderful flavors to come out into the sauce. Now we are going to throw some fresh herbs in at the end. We're going to throw in some fresh basil as well as some oregano. So while your sauce is simmering, 
can go ahead and get some nice basil leaves, clean them up, wash them off, go ahead and give them a nice chop. And also go ahead and grab some oregano, some fresh oregano. Grab the stems, pull the leaves off, get these bad boys ready to go. So once we're done cooking, we're gonna throw these in. They'll maintain all of their wonderful green colors, plus add a little bit of the flavor at the end. Okay, so check it out, you all. This has been cooking for roughly one hour. Looks absolutely delicious. Look how that's all reduced down. Now what we're gonna do is we're taking out all of the stems of the basil. You can take out the little leaves as well if they're kinda of in the way, but uh, that's not too big of a deal. But just make sure that you get all of the stems out. And then we're gonna puree this a little bit with the emulsion blender. These things are great for any sort of uh, sauces or any sort of soups they're just perfect for any sort of hot type dish that you want to do a quick blending on you don't want to have to mess up a blender or a fruit food processor this is perfect just throw it on in there bzz, and give it a buzz now I'm not going to puree this whole whole mixture I'm just trying to give it a little bit of a smooth texture I do want some chunks so I do want some chunks of tomato do you want chunks of uh, garlic as well as onions in there um, so this is just to make it a little bit smoother, but not too smooth. Alright, so this is looking great. Give it a little bit of a stir, and then it's also time to add a little bit more flavor. Add a little bit of pepper and salt to taste. And it's time to throw in some of that wonderful basil and some oregano that we prepared earlier. You don't have to throw it all in, just throw as much as you like in. And there you go folks, a homemade marinara sauce. It's not too difficult. It takes a little time, but the time does bring out that wonderful flavor. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Please leave your comments below. And if delicious sauces and gravies are your thing, whether they be savory or sweet, go ahead and pound that subscribe button below. And you know what? I will see you all next time.